Hello everyone, this is Miss Lina Ode and this is English grade 11. Today I'm going to be starting with uh, this week with February 11th. For February 11th, uh, for this unit, Unit 3, Power, Protest and Change, uh, we're going to basically start with the Great Gatsby, the first chapter. Uh, I assume by then we will have finished with the introduction along with the characters. So what's with chapter one? For this time, what are we going to do? We're going to discuss the situation depicted in the novel. We're going to understand the main elements, analyze the application of historical, social, and literary elements. As for the words that you need to learn, that I basically want this list of words that are inside uh, this picture. And then for these, I assume that you will have familiarized yourself with in the previous classes. Here is a PDF copy. If you want to basically read it off a copy. As for the, I would say, uh, the organization of my class, we're going to start it with uh, choosing some quotes from this. And then after choosing quotes, uh, we're going to go, go over the video over here, which gives a brief summary and analysis, analysis of chapter one. Then we have this uh, activity. In this activity, we basically will have whether we agree, disagree, or qualify. This one is pretty, I would say, basic. And it's also general because it helps you understand where the novel is going. Uh, and here is an audio book. And uh, here is a character map that you need to go through. And then once you can uh, connect uh, the characters, you will be able to understand uh, the analysis more. And here you have a further practice. Once you click on it, it will help you understand uh, chapter one. And by the way, uh, via emails, you're going to all be sent also um, uh, a close read analysis. With this close read analysis, we will be analyzing, we will be contextualizing, and we will also be reading and close reading. And of course, if we are able to finish chapter one, we're going to jump into chapter two. For chapter two, we're going to pretty much do the same uh, with other activities. For, the, for those activities, uh, basically, we have the first one, think about the word choice in this chapter, because basically the words that can either revolt you or make you understand the story much better. How is the scandalous mood? And what does Nick, uh, the narrator of her story, uh, basically contribute to the attitude and tone, although he's not scandalous, but what is, how does he uh, contribute to this? And there, here is an audiobook. Another thing is journaling time. We're going to connect, think about time. You face similar situation. There's a situation that you're going to find uh, revolting in this particular chapter. Do you? How are you going to deal with it? This is time for real-life connections. And then over here, we have to pay current attention to the current events. How do you think they're going to turn out in the future? How are they going to meet? What's the point behind the story over here? Nothing is clear for now. It's all predictions. And here's an assessment for you with challenging questions. And then on February 13th, we're going to basically take reading comprehension. And again, this time we have to read and comprehend uh, through um, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. But the answers should be written responses. They're not to be MCQs. Yes, there will be MCQs, but they're going to be few. But the rest are going to be in, uh, FRQs. This gives you the window and the room in order to have more freedom in answering. Uh, and that because I want to basically prepare you for uh, A3 exam. And then for the following day, we're going to have a project. This project is a comic book. It's fun. In this immers immersive, I would say, project, you're going to work on order to talk about uh, how we, ca how we can uh, basically have power, protest, and change. How can we change people through comic books? How can we have a serious topic changed into something hilarious? We're going to talk about it over here. In the very first day, we're going to assemble the graphics, the pictures, and some uh, speech bubbles that you're going to be writing yourselves. Easy words, don't worry. And then on the following day is going to be presentations and how you how you executed the idea of having very serious uh, context uh, through, I would say, having images which are fun. And how did you have, how could you basically uh, use a satirical tone in order uh, to comment or critique a society or to change it? Uh, see you next week. Thank you so much for listening.